Hello, friends, and welcome into the 49ers Report. I am Tom Down, and we have something a little bit different on tap for you guys today. We're going to do a film study of the 49ers' very impressive win over the Cincinnati Bengals' focus on the offensive attack. The Niners, there's no other way to put it, they dominated the Cincinnati Bengals. Bunch of yards through the air, bunch of yards on the ground, 41 points. 572 yards. So for today, I'm going to focus in on the game plan Kyle Shanahan had, and most importantly, the play of Jimmy Garoppolo. We will begin with my favorite play by far. This is the Marquise Goodwin touchdown here. This is right after a first down, easy touchdown on a play design called leak. Here's how Goodwin got so open. Starts low with a bunch formation to the right. Everyone's tight. You actually forcibly load the box with this. You motion, Kyle, you check in motion. Bengals are a little bit confused. There's some falling there, so you think you're in man here. The cornerbacks, by the way, they shuffle. There's an adjustment, and there's confusion. The play here is designed for Marquise Goodwin right there on your screen. Now, he will drag across the formation, and there's nobody near him here. There's nobody remotely close to go. All right, so rewind here. The defense bites on the run fake that's flowing to the left. Other defenders, there's man-to-man -man at the top there, and also man-to-man -man at the bottom. But look at B.W. Webb. He's supposed to be on Goodwin. He does not follow him. Here's the end zone angle. He bites on the play fake and then follows Jimmy Garoppolo for whatever reason. He's left Goodwin wide open. 30 has come up here to help with George Kittle. It pulls the safety out of the way. That's an easy everyday throw for Jimmy Garoppolo. So to recap, Shanahan draws up the leak play design, and it works to perfection. Motion causes some confusion there. They flow to the left. They see the play action. They overcompensate. That's way too easy for the 49ers. This play, by the way, almost always works in the NFL, as long as you don't call it a little bit too much. Now, if you guys want more film studies here from us at Chat Sports, let me know by liking the video. Hit me up with that like, and you know if the views match it, then we'll know, hey, maybe we'll give you guys some more going forward. So again, guys, like this video for me. I appreciate it. All right, play number two. This is the Raheem Mostert touchdown. Timing matters a lot for a play call, plus when the defense gets how to play you know, tackle, but that's beside the point. So to start here, you've again got motion from the top. I like that a lot. Little reaction from the defense, I think you're in zone on this. Garoppolo makes some type of audible, hot call, whatever it is. And the big reason why this works, we're picking on BW Webb once again. He's in the nickel here. He's actually coming in on a zone blitz. So when he comes off the edge, Garoppolo waits till the very last second and then checks it down to Mostert. Nice little alternate alternate arm angle there. And he's got space. It is three versus three. It's not the best blocking, but there's also some pretty iffy, iffy tackling, and Mostert does the rest for the score. Now, we're talking about backs here. We're mentioning Mostert. There is no Tevin Coleman. So if you're like me, and you took Tevin Coleman in fantasy, and I'm still holding on to him, he's going to come back and play great, get on down to FanDuel. Kind of help, you know, make, make up for some earlier fantasy drafting mistakes. Head over to FanDuel.com slash chat sports. You get 20 bucks free with your first $20 deposit. You can play in some of the lower money games and have a lot of winners, and you'll make money on FanDuel. That's FanDuel.com slash chat sports. All right, next up, play action. I love it. Always use play action. It almost always works. This is a massive gain from George Kittle, also because Kittle's awesome and abused the Bengals defender. So Kittle here, watch what he does. First up, you've got most. Now he's kind of hidden a little bit here. Hidden up a little bit, but he's on Jesse Bates number 30. Kittle comes in motion. You've got confirmed man-to-man -man coverage. They fire off the line. Jesse Bates reads run. He's cooked. There is not a safety really in the NFL that can recover from that. It's a big, big pickup here for George Kittle. Plus, I love the extra added stuff as well. I also want to make note here, watch 36. He might have stayed home, but he's actually in man-to-man -man coverage. He made the right call. That's on Jesse Bates, and it's why play action works. If you want more evidence play action works, these were Jimmy Garoppolo's stats in week two off of play action. A perfect 10 of 10 for 213 yards and two touchdowns. Run the play action regardless, especially even early on in games, you don't have to establish the run. It helps when you also run all over a bad Bengals defense, but utilize the play action like Shanahan loves to do, and it's effective. It makes it easier on your quarterback, and Jimmy Garoppolo is accurate enough that it's going to pay 
big dividends here. All right, I like this next play here because it's creative. You've got the, you've got the jet motion and then a throwback screen. I wanted to feature it because of the misdirection. It's a really creative play design, and also D Debo Samuel's pretty darn good. So Samuel starts wide. He comes in motion here with a follower. So we've got man-to-man -man coverage. You fake the jet sweep, Jimmy G rolls right. Now Mostert is open if Garoppolo wants to go there, but that's not the play design. Instead, you've got a throwback plus a little natural pick play here. The defense is kind of out of position. A natural pick play, throwback screen. The defense was flowing the wrong direction. Now they've got to recover, and look what you got. Space everywhere. The, def the defense has not recovered in time because they were following Garoppolo. Now it's a big, big pickup here for Debo Samuel, who, by the way, I thought was great against the Bengals. Minus one play that we'll get to here, unfortunately. But I love that play design. I like getting the ball to your playmakers in space. More teams should do that. This is why, folks, Shanahan was so coveted when he was a coordinator. Now, I mentioned Samuel wasn't quite perfect. Here it is. Not everything's flawless. Even for Samuel, this is just a brutal draft. So there's a little bit of pre-snap motion on this play, but it's all about Debo Samuel. He is the first read there at the very top of the screen. And it's frustrating, right? He runs a perfect route. He gets open, generates spades. Garoppolo throws it at the perfect time. I think Samuel just heard footsteps. Again, here is the end zone view. Garoppolo, that's the first read. Perfect ball placement. There's time there. Samuel, I think he just hears the footsteps. Great throw by Garoppolo. That's just all on Debo Samuel there in the end. All right, guys, if you want more film studies and you like the 49ers, make sure you are subscribed. The link there is below, chatsports.com slash 49ers. Make sure you're subscribed to our 49ers only channel. Keep you covered with everything around the 49ers, highlights, grades, news and rumors, mailbag stuff, and if you like the film studies, keep doing these as well. All right, play number six now because Garoppolo was also not perfect. This is the interception here made by William Jackson. Now, when I first saw this play, including live, I'm like, oh, that's a bad decision by Jimmy Garoppolo. There are five guys there. What are you doing? Look at the end zone angle for Garoppolo. One, two, three, four, five. Lots of guys in that area. Ah, there's a reason why Garoppolo threw this, though. So I'll break down why. You got Richie James here in the slot out of the bunch formation. He's the main target. He's actually matched up on a linebacker on this play. So from that perspective, it makes sense. The safety is not an ideal position. James has his man beat deep. Safety's already come up there. Now Garoppolo wants to fade away from him, so I get that. The problem is he doesn't think William Jackson is going to be there. So let's rewind here. Here is what Jackson did. Top of your screen. I think Garoppolo thinks this is man-to-man, -man, but watch. Jackson is not even watching the receiver. He is instead in deep zone responsibility, reading the quarterback's eyes. So when Garoppolo lofts it deep, he thinks he's got Richie James burning a linebacker, doesn't see Jackson just lurking right there for the interception. It's less of a terrible decision and more of a bad coverage read and a great play by a really, really good cornerback, by the way, in William Jackson. So after two games, how much faith do you guys have in Jimmy Garoppolo? Let me know in the comment section. Grade this for me on a scale of 1 to 10. Number 1 means you're done, you want to replace him, which... Defense. Number 10 means you think he's the best quarterback in the NFL. I worry more about the injury side of things for Garoppolo than I do the on-field play. As long as the offense looks like it did against the Bengals, they're going to be just fine. If, 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 excluding health, I'm at least at a 6 or 7 for Garoppolo. Last play here because it was too much fun not to include it. The trick play, the 49ers busted out. The old wide receiver pass back. Pettis the most hurt there. Let's break it down. So Pettis comes in motion. And look. Look at the numbers there. You got 2v2 with Pettis able to have space there. Now, the initial read here, by the way, is actually for George Kittle, the tight end. But Kittle is covered. The two safeties read it well. There's no reason to throw it deep downfield. So Pettis, who's a smart player, does the right thing here. Plan B and almost the plan 1A, a simple screen pass back to Mostert. Look at all the space and blockers that he has in front of him. Here's the end zone angle. One more time. Pettis across the field to Mostert. Look at the space you've got. You've got the numbers in your advantage there. 
That's an easy pickup there because the Bengals were in zone. All right, guys, if you like the film study, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDownie. I teased it earlier, so if you're already following me, you knew what was going to happen there. Go follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDownie. Make sure you're subscribed to the 49ers report. And if you liked it, let me know because we might keep doing more of these for you guys here on the 49ers report.